Hi, this is Eric Sloof and I'm at the Solutions Exchange over at VMworld and I'm joined by Jos Arches. Jos, how are you? I'm very good, Eric. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So you're a VCDX. What's your VCDX number? I'm number 90. Number 90, that's pretty low in, in, in the ranking. The lower the better, I've heard. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Correct. So your defense, was it, was, it, was it that hard? It was excellent. I really enjoyed it. It was you know, great questions from the panel. It really tested my knowledge and uh, I found it really stimulating intellectually, so it was great. Great, great, cool. VCDX and working at Nutanix. Yeah. I've heard that Nutanix uh, is hiring a lot of VCDX certified people. Yeah, hiring VCDX has really helps us maintain our talent and continue to innovate. So, you know, we actually have three. So we have Lane Leverett and Jason Lingoni and myself. So, Great, great. So you work at Nutanix. Nutanix is offering a very uh, special environment with uh, CPU, memory, but also storage in one box. Can you elaborate a little bit uh, about that? Absolutely. So our platform is converging storage and compute into a 2U form factor, which we call a block. And in a block, we actually have four nodes. So this is what our block looks like. And each one of these is two, two RU, okay? So if I draw what that looks like, at the back, we have four nodes. One, two, three, four. And they share two power supplies. Power supply one, power supply two. Then at the front, what we have is 24 hard drives. And each node, has six drives, and they're directly connected to each node, so they're not shared, okay? Then on top of this, we run a hypervisor. So we love VMware, we're on ESX. On top, we have our controller virtual machine, which is our software, okay? So we're a software company, and we just package this in the 2RU appliance for convenience and rapid time to market, okay? So our controller VM sits on a one-to-one -one ratio with each ESX host, okay? And that's how we scale. So in one block, like this, we'll actually have four controller VMs. And what we do is that means the virtual machines sit and access the storage locally. So that's how we get very high performance and low latency, okay? From a data protection perspective, on each host, if I draw over here, because we have our controller, CVM, and a third one, when we write data, we always write it to our SSD tier. So we don't have to worry about RAID and aggregates and all these things, it's very simple. So when we do a write, we write the data locally and then across the cluster. So here's another copy. And that's what we call our replication factor, which is two. So that's how we do data protection, we don't do RAID. So if I then write another piece of data, I then write that somewhere else in the cluster. So we distribute that across the whole cluster for resiliency and performance. Then what happens for a read operation, if the virtual machine is reading that data, it reads it locally, very, low, very high performance, low latency. If the piece of data that we require is remote, our scenario is we'll go over 10 gig and we'll get that piece of data. So our best case scenario is it's going to be in our cache, in RAM. The next best is SSD. The next best is SATA, and that's all local. Only in the fourth case will we go across the network to get data which is actually the best case scenario for most other vendors. So we actually have three better use cases before we get to that option. And even if you're over 10 gig, that's very good performance. So as we scale out, again, one-to-one -one relationship, CVM to ESX host, and that's how we get the linear performance. We don't have that bottleneck where we have a traditional array with two controllers, controller A and B, and as we scale our hosts, we can't scale our storage. We actually need to scale controllers to keep that performance. There's no point adding drives if your finite amount of performance has already been exhausted. Yeah, if the bottleneck is in your HBA, then you can add more drives, but that doesn't mean that you get more IOPS. Yeah, exactly right. So that's really what we're addressing by scaling like this. So data locality, very important. So we keep data locally wherever possible, and that gives us our performance. So what happens if one ho uh, uh, node fails? Sure, great question. So if we were to fail this node here, and I'm talking about the controller VM itself at this stage, the VM continues to run seamlessly, okay? Right. So it'll actually fail over and get data from other nodes, and it will perform at 10 gig speeds. So even in a failure scenario, the performance is still excellent. At our Nutanix layer, we then repair. So these pieces of data which are lost will then be rewritten, and we do that to keep our replication factor. So if we've got block B and we've only got one copy, we will repair the cluster and write it over here. And we've only got one A, so we'll write another A, 
and a C. And we'll do that evenly across the cluster to maintain efficiency. So what happens when you lose a complete host? So in the fact of a host, we've lost the host, we've therefore lost our controller as well, and our VMs. So HA will kick in, HA will restart the VM on other nodes, and that machine will continue to run. Now, it may not have all the data locally, so what that will result in is the VM getting data over the 10 gig network. When it actually reads that data, it will move it and keep a copy locally in cache. So we don't do a storage remotion, like where we move everything all at once. We do it in a just-in-time fashion. So it's very low overhead. And if, if data is cold, it doesn't matter if it's remote. It's the active working set that we're really concerned about keeping in the cache. Great, great. What I've learned is that Utenix is used a lot in VMware view environments, yes. but from what I've seen here is that you can also use it in normal server environments. Do you agree? Absolutely. So VDI is a fantastic use case. We love our VDI customers and we're going to continue to dominate in that space. Um, in the server market, we haven't got as many customers doing it, but the, the message is the same. Scale out, your performance remains consistent. You don't have a situation where your performance day one is excellent and then you taper off like you would with a traditional array. With us, your performance will keep going up linearly. So you should start at one host, you get one host, well you have to start with three. But if you add one host, you'll get an equivalent percentage increase for each host. So Great. VDI users will get 100 users on one node, 200 on the next, 300 on the next. Performance will remain the same. We don't bottleneck or taper off. Cool, cool. Great technique. Great technique. Josh, many thanks for the interview. If you want to know more about Nutanix, visit the booth or go to the website and take a look at their demos. Eric Sloof, signing off. Thanks, Eric.